Welcome to this short video on analysis with categories. When we are initially gathering information into our map, MindGenius lends itself to not having to worry about order, logic or structure. Worrying about these things when we are brainstorming merely acts as an inhibitor. By introducing categories into our map, we are likely to revisit our unstructured data and apply logic to make sense of our information. And it also allows us to introduce a language and context that is relevant to our organisation or specific project. This can then be filtered and understood and helps you to get the clarity required to make further progress. This video will cover how to apply categories and how these categories can be used for analysis to interpret your data. The features for categorization and analyzing are found on the Analyze ribbon. The Category Gallery displays the default categories. If you drop down the Categories Gallery, you will see groups of categories for brainstorming, difficulty, review and impact. There are also additional categories that can be accessed from here. Simply toggle on and off additional groups. We can also access the category dialog from here, where we can edit the categories and add groups of our own. To edit a category, we select the category and then select Rename and type in the name for your new category. Or select the category and select F2 and type in the name. Continue to do this until you have added all of the categories you want to use. The renamed categories are now available in the category gallery. We can also create new category groups by selecting create a new category group. I'm creating one called Decision, and underneath that, I can add my new categories. Each of these new categories can be given an icon by selecting Add Icon. And the new category group automatically appears in the gallery. To begin adding categories to your map, select the branch you would like to apply it to, then select the category with a single click. You can also select multiple branches using control click and then add a category to multiple branches at the same time. You can use a category dropper if you prefer. Simply select the dropper, click on a category and then add to the appropriate branches. To remove the dropper, click back on it. Categories are toggled on and off. To remove, just re-click the icon. Branches can have multiple categories. Simply select all those that apply. But there are some types of category group that are mutually exclusive. For example, high, medium and low impact. If a branch has high selected, and I then choose to select medium, it will replace the high categorization. We are now looking at a map with the categorization process complete. Each of the branches has a category allocated. We can start to use some of the analysis features to make sense of the data collected. The quick filter displays each of the categories that have been used in the map. By selecting the category, the map is filtered to show only that selected category. If I select information overload, then only branches that have been marked as this will be displayed. The quick filter panel can also be accessed from here, and this allows us to do more complex filtering. For example, if I want to look at information overload and communication issues together, I can apply this filter to display this information. The quick filter dialog also provides access to some of the other branch properties, such as resources, and task and action information, and we can filter on this information too. One of the most powerful features of MindGenius is the ability to create a new map based on the categories used within your current map. To do this, select Create Category Map. And an affinity diagram is created. With a column produced for each category used, 
and with the branches rearranged to place them in the appropriate category column. Any branches that have not been categorised will be added to a not categorised column in the new map. This gives you an automatic category-centric view of your data, allowing you to get clarity on the ideas generated and move forward to prioritisation and actioning. Thanks for watching this short video. Additional MindGenius resources can be found on our website.